Hey, what's going on guys? With Monster Sanctuary finally being out and a wider variety of players getting their hands on it, I've seen a lot of people throwing around the question of where the best area to grind experience is. Now, that being said, if you have seen my review covering the game, I did say that Monster Sanctuary isn't a game where you need a lot of grinding, but there still may be some points in time in which you'll want to level up your team a bit before going up against a boss. That being said, this guide will primarily focus on leveling up as it pertains to the main story of the game, as opposed to an end game sort of grind. A lot of players haven't yet completed the game and perhaps need to gain a couple levels to progress or whatever, whereas during the end game there is a common method which is completely different, but that's going to be a topic for a future video. But with that being said, make sure to sit back, relax, and let's dive right in. Now, like I previously stated, there is a later game method by which you can level up, but it's not really useful for people playing through the main story because it involves gathering level badges, which are basically like rare candies. However, they don't let you level up past the current max level of your own monsters. So it's not very helpful to those who are trying to increase their max levels of their monsters. If you already have a team set up, it's not exactly going to help you power up that team, provided all the team members are around the same level. Like I said, I do have plans to cover that in the future, so stay tuned for that. This video is going to be more focused on helping people getting through their playthrough if they're stuck at a certain part of the game. Just give them a little edge by gaining a few levels here and there. Now that being said, Monster Sanctuary is pretty simple when it comes to grinding. Uh, a lot of people just say to grind at the location in which you're stuck at because those are the highest level monsters you've encountered, which does work. However, you also have to consider the fact that the enemy monsters need to respawn or you'll have to do a lot of moving around to find various clusters of enemies or you might even have to use an item to force them to respawn. This can be effective during your playthrough, however, I do think that there's a better way that's more predictable and allows for grinding at various levels depending on where you are in the game. The area in question is within the Keeper's Stronghold and is on the left side, it's called the Duel Arena. Now this is a great example of a gem hidden in plain sight because most people probably messed around here for like 2 seconds and then left and totally forgot about it, but basically the game allows you to challenge the Duel Master over and over again at a rank scaling to your own. You can participate in the Novice Challenge, the Seeker Challenge, the Lancer Challenge, the Ranger Challenge, the Knight Challenge, the Champion Challenge, and finally the Dragoon Challenge. Now obviously the further you go down, the harder it's going to get. This is basically your all in one spot to grind wherever you are in the game. Since you have the option of choosing the tier in which you want to face off against, this really lets you cater your grind to your own liking wherever you currently are in the game. That being said, you can also battle this guy over and over again instantly and unlimitedly, so there's no need to wait for respawns or run around or whatever. He uses the exact same team every time you fight as well, provided you're fighting within the same tier, so you can also prepare accordingly, allowing you to cut him down faster. During my short session of grinding for one of the rival battles, I personally opted to participate in the ranger challenge as opposed to the knight challenge that I could have fought in, as I found that the ranger challenge team was more easy to deal with on a quick and consistent basis, whereas the knight challenge team would basically destroy me pretty hard, so. But yeah guys, it's honestly as simple as that. There isn't really any crazy like 10 billion XP in 30 seconds method, but there really doesn't need to be. The game's eggs do scale up, and honestly the game doesn't ever require you to go off and grind for hours anyway. Given how vanilla this method is, I was debating even making this video talking about it, but I did see a lot of people in both comments of various Monster Sanctuary videos and over on Reddit and Discord asking about where they should train up, so I figured I could share this as it's a good resource for people that have either forgotten about the Duel Arena or just didn't really pay attention to it in the first place. Anyways, a shorter video for you guys, but hopefully it was mildly helpful. I've seen some really good suggestions on some of my other videos for topics to discuss, such as shifting for example. So expect more Monster Sanctuary content in the near future as we celebrate the game's launch. Now with all that being said, if you guys did enjoy the video, as usual, make sure to like and subscribe for more monster taming content. You can check out my Patreon, my Twitter, and my Discord, all links in the description. Until next time, peace.